Dao De Jing. 69. The generals have a saying. Rather than make the first move, it is better to wait and see. Rather than advance an inch, it is better to retreat a yard. This is called going forward without advancing, pushing back without using weapons. There is no greater misfortune than underestimating your enemy. Underestimating your enemy means thinking that he is evil. Thus, you destroy your three treasures and you become an enemy yourself. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. Dao De Jing, 69. Encouragement along the way. <clears throat> welcome back if you've been checking these out and uh, welcome if this is your first time uh, to this video series of the Dao De Jing where we are doing all chapters, numbers 1 through 81. We are uh, musing on how to implement the Dao into our daily lives. Um, what the philosophy of the Tao is, how to become the master. We are all potentially the master of uh, the art of living. And uh, the Tao Te Ching translates to the book of the way uh, or the manual to the art of living. Mastering the art of living. And so we're going to get into it. And this is Dao De Jing number 69. The generals have a saying. Rather than make the first move, it is better to wait and see. Hmm. This is so... I love this. <clears throat> I, I operate like this. I kind of learned this principle from a preacher, actually, um, while I was living in Los Angeles. Uh... The preacher said it like this. He said, when you don't know what to do, do nothing. It's best to wait and see and let the revelation come unto you. Let your eyes be opened by the Lord. Uh, if you don't know what to do in a current situation, just be still. Do nothing. And uh, wait and see, and then you will clearly see the right move. The Holy Spirit will illumine you, will uh, open your eyes so that you may see, and open your ears so that you may hear. And perhaps it's necessary for you to step back from whatever situation you're in, to be still and know that God is God. Be still and God will fight your battles for you. So anyway, <clears throat> repeating again, uh, the generals have a saying, rather than make the first move, it is better to wait and see. Rather than advance an inch, it is better to retreat a yard. Again, knowing how to yield is strength. And we're going to get more into that point later on in this. But this is a yielded way. This is a non-domination way. This is a give and take. It's the tree bending with the wind, not fighting against it. It's being soft and supple and yielding. It is not being hard and rigid and uh, stiff. Um, again, the generals have a saying, rather than make the first move, it is better to wait and see. Rather than advance an inch, it is better to retreat a yard. To check out the situation, to see what's going on. Continuing on. This is called going forward without advancing, pushing back without using weapons. The master teaches without saying a word. Yep. He is receptive as a valley, clear as a glass of water, alert as a warrior in enemy territory. Uh... 
fluid as melting ice, shapeable as a block of wood. That's what the master is like. And they are able to do this thing called going forward without advancing. It's called way, woo, way, doing, not doing, action, non-action. Non-action is the purest form of action. And a, a professional athlete can enter a state of body awareness where they are no longer doing the sport, but the sport is doing them. A basketball player can be dribbling a ball and uh, uh, shooting baskets, but there's a there can come a point in the game and in the zone where the basketball player is no longer really dribbling the ball. The ball is just dribbling itself. And he's not so much shooting the basket, but the ball is just simply going in the basket. It's non-action is really the purest form of action. And that's the principle of Wei Wu Wei, doing, not doing, action, non-action, being, not being. And it is also going forward without advancing, pushing back without using weapons. So continuing on. There is no greater misfortune than underestimating your enemy. Underestimating your enemy means thinking that he is evil. Thus, you destroy your three treasures and become an enemy yourself. Hmm. That's very interesting because Dao De Jing 67 says your three greatest treasures are simplicity, patience, and compassion. Simple in actions and in thoughts, you return to the source of being. Patient with friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Compassionate toward yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. So, I suppose... When you underestimate your enemy by thinking he is evil, you become an enemy yourself. Perhaps you lose patience with him, and you are in disharmony with the way things are. Hmm. I find it interesting that the Tao has no concept of sin, um, which the Bible certainly does. I mean, that's the whole deal. Jesus had to come because of sin to make a way back to God, make a way back to the Father. That's the whole reason Jesus left heavenly perfection and came, the King became a servant uh, to all people and uh, showed us the way, pointed the way back to the Father through relationship with Him. Anyway, one of Jesus' biggest teachings, yea, probably the biggest teaching, He said, the number one commandment was love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and might, and then love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> you're not loving your neighbor as yourself when you're thinking that he is evil. And yet it says you become an enemy yourself. You become an enemy. The Bible commands us to love our enemies. Love those who hate us and persecute us. And it says we're even blessed when we get persecuted uh, in Jesus for, for loving Jesus. It's very interesting, these concepts, these ideas. I wonder if you're understanding anything about them. Your three treasures, again, are simplicity, patience, and compassion. And it says that you destroy them when you underestimate your enemy by thinking that he is evil. And you become an enemy yourself. Moving on and ending with this. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. I love this. I think about this all the time. Oh, I think about interactions and relationships that I have and with, uh, you know, loved ones and acquaintances and people and you know, sometimes you're dealing with egos, sometimes you're dealing with, you know, whatever, whatever someone's dealing with in their life. And that may not be something that you're dealing with in life. And Knowing when to yield is strength. Knowing how to yield is strength. 
yielding and humility uh, are essentially, you know, very similar. And uh, humility is a run-on theme of the Tao, and humility is a run-on theme of uh, the Holy Word of God, the Scripture, the Bible. And uh, if you haven't gathered yet, there are many similarities between the Tao and the Word of God. And again, I, I like to phrase it this way. Lao Tzu, the author of the Tao Te Ching, the book of the way, I believe would have become a follower of Jesus had he been alive when Jesus was alive. Because he would have recognized the great Tao within Jesus. He would have recognized the harmony within Jesus. And um, it would have been obvious to Lao Tzu. Um, and Lao Tzu was simply just one of the great pre-Christian sages that walked the earth before Jesus Christ. One of the ancient masters. I wonder what the ancient masters of Lao Tzu were teaching and thinking about. What they were musing upon. It'd be really interesting to find the books that Lao Tzu read. Anyway... I pray that you have, well, let me just read this one last time. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. Lots of people in this world today, in the culture today, want to make their will be done. Do what thou wilt will be the whole of the law, says Satan, actually. Do what thou wilt is his law. Do what you want. Knowing how to yield, yielding and submitting to the Lord, yielding and submitting to the Tao, which is just the Holy Spirit, a metaphor for the Holy Spirit. Yielding and submitting to the Lord, to the greater power, to the great creator, as Julia Cameron of The Artist Way said. Um, the great creator of all things. Yielding. When two great forces oppose each other, the victory will go to the one that knows how to yield. I pray this has been beneficial to you. I love you all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then.